Leo, this is all about you. This is your weekly oracle and tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. This is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Jupiter, Venus, Mars, Mercury. Wherever Leo energy influences your natal chart, you can apply these energies for the next seven days. So Leo, let's just jump right in. Leo, let's try to get a crowning energy for you. Leo, 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 Leo. Remember, there is a full extended tarot card reading um, in the late in the description box below. That link is in the description box below. Um, okay. And we have your crowning energy. It's interesting how the cards have been behaving for many of the readings. Uh, surrender now, let go, release. This is Sagittarius energy. This is somebody, something is attracting you like a moth to a flame. And it's almost like you don't even care if you're going to crash and burn. You almost want to crash and burn. This is a feeling of just like headlong diving into something. And you could see that it's dangerous. You could see there are pitfalls. You could even see that there are explosives. That might be what's attracting you. There's a lot of fire. There's a lot of passion here. It's almost like loving the chaos, this sense of just fun and playfulness, maybe flirtation, being so ready to dive in deep with somebody or get in deep with somebody. There's very there's a lot of passion here. So it could be a somebody, it could be a something, it could be a project. Whatever it is, you're ready to dive in deep without much thought. It's almost like you know it and you just want to like pause and <laughs> take a second. It's like you're in some ways being an objective observer in your own plane crash not that there's going to be a plane crash no but there is a sense of you can see this happening you can see this being crazy you can see this maybe even going up in flames but considering it, especially if you're dealing with a sagittarius energy there's an energy of okay well i'm a fire sign and they're a fire sign and the more flames the better kind of thing but this is really that energy but it doesn't have to be sagittarius energy this is sagittarius energy but it doesn't have to be a sagittarius it's just this there you could see yourself diving headlong into this excited chaos and you don't care you don't care if you fly too close to the sun you want to get as close to the sun as possible that's you this week. Oh, I know you were in there. My cute little puppy is just destroying my room <laughs> beneath the table that I'm shuffling cards on. So let's keep going. Moth, spirit, surrender now. Lots coming out for you. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Readings on the table. Number one, reclaim your power. You have got somebody in your sights. You've got something in your sights. This, this sense of yourself is back. This sense of, yeah, I take risks. Yeah, I'm crazy. I like the way that I feel when I'm like that. This is about risk-taking, danger, and adventure. This is about having something, maybe even something irresponsible, set in your sights and going headlong into it to get back that feeling of power and fire that you love feeling about yourself. And that, for the past couple of months, has been extinguished in you, Leo. It's been more conservative, more practiced. But this is about, no, the risk-taker is coming back. The the beast is coming back it's coming it's like full force and you love this feeling you love this energy you're taking it back and you're not asking anybody's permission this is overcome any obstacle um, it could be feeling like you're being dragged feeling like you're stuck this is what this is what this fire is for to feel unstuck to feel um, it's, it's almost like this sense, this could be like a taking root sense, a sense of, of finding what you really want and not giving up on it. Ooh, damn. Um, let it shine. This is Scorpio energy in reverse. So this is sort of a subverted sense. This is still uh, growing in your gut. It's a fire that's still growing in your gut. It's something that still lies beneath the surface and you haven't taken action on. I'm not sure I could say the same for the end of this week. There is a sense of really wanting to leap out. But right now, you haven't taken action on. Whatever it is that's inspiring you, whatever it is that's drawing you or pulling you into it, you haven't taken action on this yet, but oh boy, oh boy, you've got it spotlighted. You've got it spotlighted. There's something that is stuck in you. It's like it's got grabbed its claws into your heart and you like the pain type of energy. Leah. God darn, it's like, it's so interesting how it's like the same cards, different positions, different meaning every reading, but this is you. This is 100% you. 
Now I know it has something to do with love and romance. It has something to do with your heart space. It has something to do with somebody or something that's so beautiful you can't take your eyes off of it. And maybe they were an ugly duckling. This was a per person who has known pain because the swan is great beauty and great divinity and great romanticism and um, in inspired beauty. You know, but it, it was started out as something that was really ugly and, and crusty. So it's there's an interesting sense of depth to this beauty that you have in your sights this is the central reading uh-huh yeah somebody's definitely got their hooks in you learn from the past you don't give a shit you're just like oh no no this person i'm making the same mistake again <laughs> that's what your energy is this is a person that is so tempting and just so much what you want this is an energy maybe it's not a person i'm gonna keep this general it could just be an opportunity that is so much what you want you are going to dive headlong into it we already said that but it has a connection to your past you 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 know that you're flying too close to the sun that you this person is going to burn you but they're just so tempting you can't resist this opportunity might burn you you can't resist it uh, and a hundred different thousand times in the past you feel like you've made the same mistake and once again you don't give a shit because you need to make this mistake with this opportunity you need to take this risk see the big picture once again in reverse it's almost like you are toppled upside down every single one of grounding energy of earth sign energy is in reverse so this is like explosion land in the air things breaking apart there's like your ground is shaking your earth is quaking and changes are happening and they're destructive but they're also like um, awe inspiring at the same time it's like somebody is breaking through to you or you're making breakthroughs um, that are ca that's causing a lot of tumultuousness but you actually love the charge here is trust and divine detours no you already know exactly who this is or what this is you you have the sights that you're not being detoured you have a streamlined vision and you're headed right for it Leo this is definitely a romantic relationship. I gotta, I gotta say, it, it, if not, it's like your dreams coming true. The, the love of your life was something that you that you do. Like maybe you're very passionate, you're a very creative person. But I feel like that if that's true, this there's a person involved in that too. There's a sense of coming together with a specific person who's involved with the same thing. They have a very supportive and loving energy, but there's also very bohemian quality about them as well. But there is a sense of nurturing, guidance, love, tenderness, wholesomeness, um, attachment. There's already a strong sense of attachment. Uh, act as if you're, as far as you're concerned, it it's already yours, which is the master mindset for manifestation, right, Leo? So you've got it. You've got that master mindset locked because you already have decided that this person is yours and there is no other option for you it's already like even if you haven't shared it with them yet you know that this person is yours like you it's already out into the future that this person is yours like you you've told it to the future before you've told it to them you already know um use your mind wisely you you may have thought that this would never in a million years happen. You may have thought that never in a million years would, would this ever be true. This is the when pigs fly. So the impossible is happening. The, the impossible is happening this week, Leo. The impossible is happening. And there's your energy. Be generous of spirit, looking to the future, feeling completely and totally filled with confidence in yourself. Not full of yourself, but confidence with yourself. Really believing that you can make the impossible happen and that you can achieve the impossible. And once again, it's that forward gaze of making it happen, making the decision to manifest it. Your grounding energy here is be fearless and bold, Aries energy. Feeling, feeling really full of yourself, really glamorous, really gorgeous, putting on the Ritz, demonstrating just what a good choice you are, and somebody definitely making the choice that you're like love is all around you. You're dressing up for this love. You're dressing up to show that. In other words, you're putting on the Ritz and you're putting on your best visage. You're putting on your best presentation, not fakeness, but you're presenting yourself in the best light because you you're in the room with this specific opportunity and you you're constantly like literally in a uh, courting mode yep you're definitely in courting mode and you know what scorpio complained about the same thing but i gotta say 
there is this is this is the message i'm going to go to the extended now um i'm sorry it's a short message but it's just so certain and so real and i need to articulate it now with tarot so we're going to go over to the tarot and confirm this with the love predictions i'll see you guys over there